Hello, everyone. This is Chloe Su, the marketing manager of Planet Technology. And we are very excited to see everyone here online again. And in about two minutes, we will start our webinar on LoRa AIoT communication solution. So uh, let me quickly go over the agenda for today's webinar before we get started. Uh, later, we will start by discussing LoRa and the benefits of Planet LoRa AIoT solution. And we will finish this part with a live demonstration and to showcase our solution. And for the second part of this webinar, we will show you how the solution is applied in different verticals. Also, a closer look at the application demonstration. So uh, stay with us. And at the meantime, if you have any questions, please send it to the chat room or send it to sales at planet.com.tw. We will have someone to help you during the webinar. And uh, just a reminder that we have a live Q&A at the end of this webinar. So uh, don't miss out on the opportunity for the Q&A session. Now let's get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our second webinar of 2022. My name is Ryan, the Senior Marketing Specialist at Planet Technology. Today, we'll be talking about how Planet utilizes LoRa technology for our AIoT communication solution. But before we get into the solution, let's talk briefly about what LoRa actually is. If you're not familiar, LoRa, which stands for long range, is essentially a type of wireless signal to help transmit data between devices. But what makes LoRa different from other types of wireless technology is its ability to transmit data at very long ranges while producing a low bit rate and consuming very low energy. The type of frequency LoRa transmit will vary depending on the region. The benefit of LoRa-enabled devices from Planet, such as our LoRaWAN gateway and LoRa node controllers, are all compatible with EU, US, and AS frequency bands. This means you won't have to worry about which frequency band you'll need to use for Planet's LoRa devices. While LoRa is able to transmit data with a low bit rate at a long range, the information still needs a way to be directed. This is where LoRaWing comes in. It is simply a software layer protocol that defines how the devices use the LoRa hardware. LoRaWing devices don't require high bandwidth, so it is ideal to use them for sensors that measure things like CO2, temperature, and gas meters. A LoRaWing architecture consists of the end nodes connecting to a gateway that helps to translate the signal for the network server that will then send to the application server. So why do we use LoRa for an AIoT network? Why not use Wi-Fi or cellular signals instead? The reason is actually quite simple. Because it is a cost-effective and reliable method to connect multiple sensors and devices at a very long range while consuming very little power. This in turn greatly simplifies the network and reduces the cost of infrastructure and energy. For Wi-Fi, multiple routers will be needed in order to extend the reach of the signal, while cellular signal usually requires a third-party service provider. Both oftentimes are costly to implement and consume a lot of power. LoRa AIoT solutions are very flexible and can be used in a variety of vertical applications such as factories, smart cities, energy facilities, and transportation. As you can see, Planet LoRa AIoT network structure contains the sensor, Planet's own LoRa node controller, LoRa WAN gateway, managed switch, and LoRa network management system. The sensor is, of course, used for measurements such as water level, temperature, carbon dioxide, and more. Planet's LoRa node controller is used to collect the data from multiple sensors that may be located in remote areas. After that, Planet's LoRa wing gateway collects the data from the LoRa node controller and converts the data to be used in an IP-based network then sending it directly through Planet's own industrial L3 managed Ethernet switch. 
which will then transfer the data to Planet's LoRa Network Management System at the Control Center. Now let's have a closer look at Planet's AIoT LoRa solution and focus on our three main devices that help to enhance the LoRa AIoT network. This includes our LoRa Node Controller, LoRa Wing Gateway, and the LoRa Network Management System. With every LoRa AIoT network, it will usually contain a sensor that is used to record measurements. The information from the sensor will need a way to be transferred. This is where Planet's LoRa Node Controller comes in. The LoRa Node Controller is able to connect and acquire data from multiple sensors to be transferred to the gateway. Planet's LoRa Node Controller can receive and provide transmission up to 10 kilometers in distance while able to trigger multiple conditions in action. The LoRa Node Controller features the IDO, RS-232, and RS-485 interfaces, and it is compliant with standard LoRaWAN gateways and network servers. One of the unique features of Planet's LoRa Node Controller is its industrial-grade design. Covered in rugged metal casing, it is designed to be used in harsh environments where the devices will have to face the elements. After the LoRa Node Controller has acquired the data from the sensor, the next step will be finding a way to transfer the data to an IP network. The LoRaWAN gateway from Planet is able to not only convert the data to be used in an IP network, but it can also support connection with up to 300 endnotes. Just like the LoRa Node Controller, it features a rugged metal casing and is operable in the wide temperature range of negative 45 degrees to 75 degrees Celsius, allowing the LoRa Wing Gateway to be used in tough and remote places. Just like we mentioned earlier, our LoRa devices like the LoRa Wing Gateway comply with many frequency bands, including EU868, US915, and AS923. It has eight programmable parallel demodulation paths. For enhanced cybersecurity, it's able to block DOS and DDoS attacks and provide content, MAC, and IP filtering while featuring SSL and HyperVPN, providing robust protection and privacy. All the data collected from the sensor, node controller, and gateway will eventually lead up to Planet's LoRa network management system, where it is able to connect and manage up to 10 LoRa gateways, 100 nodes, and 3,000 sensors, which makes it highly scalable to large or small AIoT networks. The dashboard of the system provides an easy view of the MMS system, LoRa Wing gateway, and LoRa nodes event statuses. The status of the system can be reported via event alarm, while the alarm system will send an email alert to the admin via SMTP server. Users can use a real-time sitemap from the LoRa network management system to see the LoRa wing gateway and LoRa nodes on the user-defined map to optimize energy deployment. The system has a built-in DHCP server and an intuitive WebGate GUI management interface. It also has SSL secure access and supports Planet DDNS and Easy DDNS. Another great thing about Planet's management system is a user doesn't have to use a third-party application to manage and store all their information. With Planet's LoRa network management system, all information and data can be stored in-house, which helps to eliminate the concern of privacy and security. All three devices from Planet can provide many benefits to the AIoT solution. Besides providing LoRa and LoRa WAN capability, it also includes a number of other features to help create a complete LoRa AIoT communication solution. As mentioned before, both the LoRa WAN gateway and LoRa Node controller from Planet features a rugged metal casing and are able to operate in wide ranging temperature. This unique feature helps to open up opportunities for many types of verticals to utilize LoRa technology for an AIoT network solution, since it is able to be deployed in harsh or remote environments. Our LoRa AIoT solution is not limited to one type of connection. 
both MQTT and Modbus TCP are available, which helps to increase compatibility with many different network protocols. In order to ensure well-protected LoRa AIoT network, the solutions include built-in cybersecurity, SBI firewall, content filtering, and DOS and DDoS attack mitigation functions, providing high efficiency and extensive protection for your network. Finally, the solution also features full VPN server capability with IPsec, GRE, PPTP, L2TP, and SSL VPN server to ensure secure data communication between devices. Now that we have a good understanding of LoRa and the AIoT solution Planet provides, let's take a look at some of the key advantages we've mentioned earlier in the presentation, and we'll demonstrate them with Planet LoRa WAN Gateway, the LCG300W. With LoRa WAN protocol support and connections up to 300 endnotes, it helps to bridge LoRa wireless signal to an IP network creating reliable connectivity for AIoT deployments. The industrial LoRaWAN gateway features dual power supply, Alarm, DIDO, and LoRa. It consists of both LoRaWAN and Wi-Fi antennas, with two Wi-Fi antennas plug located at the top and bottom of the gateway, while the LoRa antenna plug is at the bottom left corner. Two DBI external antennas with SMA connectors provide LoRa transmission and support various frequency bands based on the countries. It has IEEE AL2.11AX Wi-Fi 6 standard that provides a high-speed transmission. It features 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz wireless connections that can be used simultaneously, reaching a total bandwidth of 1800 Mbps. So whether it is for a LoRa or a Wi-Fi network, the gateway is highly adaptable to many scenarios. In the middle, the LoRaWAN gateway includes several ports featuring a WAN port, three LAN ports, and a dual WAN port. For applications with LoRa AIoT networks, such as industrial factories and energy facilities, the gateway establishes a low-power wide area network protocol connection between Ethernet and serial port equipped devices. And at the upper panel, the gateway features two DIDO and a redundant power supply source with a wide range of voltages that requires dual or backup power inputs. Once the gateway is connected, it includes an intuitive web GUI system allowing users to easily make configurations on LoRa, LoRaWAN, ABP decryption, MQTT, and LoRa log. The gateway has several frequency bands for users to choose from based on the location of the network, which consists of EU A68, US915, and AS923. It also has a comprehensive security function to ensure your network is well protected against potential threats, including SPI firewall, blocking DOS, DDoS attack, MAC filtering, and DMZ function. As mentioned before, the gateway has full VPN capability, such as IPsec, IPsec, remote server, GRE, and PPTP server, which can all be configured in the web GUI interface. Okay, now let's take a short break and before we get to the second part of this webinar. And uh, we did put a survey in the chat room earlier as we wish to know about your thoughts when designing our products and solutions. So uh, let's take a quick look at the, at the result of the survey. And uh, we are asking, in your opinion, what's a major reason for businesses to utilize LoRa wireless technology? And we can see here that um, the highest vote goes to A, extend the signal reach. And the second one is uh, C, less power usage. And the third one uh, goes to uh, automatic data collection. 
So uh, the, the first one did get 62% uh, of the votes. So um, uh, we all know that these are uh, reasons and um, benefits for adopting uh, LoRa technology after seeing the first part of our presentation. And um, looks like our audience today um, stress more on the importance of the first, first one, uh, extending signal reach. So um, that's a very interesting finding. And uh, thank you again for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, with that in mind, now uh, we will move on to show you more about how the technology is applied in different verticals. Welcome back to the webinar. We will get started with the second part as we dive into how Planet's LoRa AIoT communication solution can be used and benefit in different vertical settings. As mentioned earlier, our AIoT solution is highly adaptable to many vertical applications. For today, we'll take a look at two scenarios. For the first one, let us check out a factory setting. A large automated factory will require all its devices in the network to operate without a hitch. Some of the demands a factory will require include converting non-IP-based sensor data, such as temperature, to be used in network platforms like the cloud. One of the most important part of an automated factory is the protection of its AIoT network. The entire network will need to be highly secure to prevent outside intrusion and protection of its sensitive data. Also, if there is any abnormal activity in the AIoT network, it will need to be able to detect and alert the administrator. Utilizing Planet's LoRaWAN gateway, it can convert all non-IP-based sensors to be used in an IP network. This means sensors that measure elements like temperature or carbon dioxide can all be connected to an AIoT network. The LoRaWAN gateway is also able to support connections up to 300 endnotes, making it perfect for connecting large amount of non-IP-based sensors in a factory setting. To help manage the sensors and gateway, the LoRa network management system from Planet can help to monitor all the LoRa connected devices in the AIoT network, which is able to manage multiple LoRa WAN gateway, LoRa nodes, and sensors. With that many nodes and sensors in the network, it is crucial to make sure all the transmitted data are well protected. Planet's LoRa AIoT solution incorporates a strong cybersecurity function to ensure AIoT network is well secured with features such as SBI firewall and DOS and DDoS attack mitigation functions to provide high efficiency and extensive protection. Lastly, Planet's LoRa AIoT solution can also detect abnormalities with its LoRa network management system. If it senses LoRa connected devices within the AIoT network are not functioning properly, the LoRa network management system will quickly send alerts to the administrators. As you can see, Planet's LoRa enabled devices are built to support a complete LoRa based AIoT network solution for factories. Whether the application is large or small, Planet's LoRa AIoT solution is very flexible in integrating our technology to enhance the network. Next, we'll have a look at what an energy facility may require for its LoRa AIoT network. An energy facility, such as a large solar panel field, is placed outdoors where temperatures can be harsh. It will need network devices that are able to withstand this harsh weather. At the same time, sensors might be placed in a remote or hard to reach area, and it will need a network that can reliably transmit and receive data at long distances throughout the large facility. A large energy facility will also require all devices and data be managed and monitored in-house instead of using third-party application where information privacy is of concern. Planet's LoRa Wing Gateway and LoRa Node Controller are built to operate in harsh environments. With this industrial rugged metal casing and operating temperature ranging from negative 45 to 75 degrees Celsius, 
You can count on the devices to operate in the toughest environments where the sensors might be placed in far away remote areas. Planet's LoRa No controller can also receive reliable transmission up to 10 kilometers, making long distance network infrastructure possible. For energy facilities, using a third party management solution may bring about consideration for privacy and security. Planet's LoRa AIoT solution allows administrators to fully store and manage the entire LoRa network devices and data in house. This ensures information is well secured and monitored without worrying about third-party management using the data without your knowledge. Now let's see an example of a LoRa AIoT network solution in action. We'll be using a sensor, Planet LoRa Node Controller, LoRa Gateway, and LoRa Network Management System to show you how it's applied in an AIoT application. As you have seen in the vertical applications we have shown earlier, an environment such as factories might include a number of sensors spread throughout the facility measuring different elements. Some sensors, such as this one here, may already have LoRaWAN functionality and which is then able to transmit collected data directly to LoRaWAN gateway to be used for the IP network. But some sensors may not feature LoRaWAN, such as this temperature measurement sensor here. In this case, these type of sensors can be connected straight to Planet LoRa Node Controller. A sensor that previously didn't have LoRa functionality can now take full advantage of the LoRa AIoT network. Now that we have all the sensors set up, it can begin to transmit data to Planet's LoRaWAN gateway where it will convert the data to be used in the IP network. You can imagine multiple sensors and LoRa node controller could be placed in the large factory setting where it's measuring things like electricity consumption or gas and water usage. All these data will eventually be transferred to the LoRaWAN gateway. After the data is received and converted, it will then transfer to the LoRa network management system. The LoRa network management system is where all the information from the sensors and LoRa-enabled devices are collected and processed. It's able to provide an at-a-glance and efficient summary of your management network and see valuable information about all the connected LoRa devices without using any third-party applications. Here, the LoRa NMS can clearly display the data collected from the temperature sensor which will show detailed information about the temperature, humidity, and also the battery level. If there are sensors in the LoRa AIoT network spread across different locations, the LoRa network management system will be able to easily display all the information from each sensor. To monitor and view the status of LoRa connected devices, it can produce live data of the LoRa devices to see if it is connected and working properly. For example, if the LoRa devices are down or if the sensors detect an event that needs attention, the system will clearly display it in the user interface and send a message to the administrator. With multiple connected LoRa devices such as LoRaWAN Gateway, LoRa node controllers and sensors. The users will be able to seamlessly monitor and manage with the LoRa network management system. This is just a short glimpse of what a connected LoRa AOT network might look like. LoRa network is highly scalable and Planet's LoRa AIoT solution is here to make that happen. Okay, thank you for watching, and now we will move on to the Q&A session for this webinar. Now, uh, let's quickly take a look at uh, our questions here. Um, the first one here, uh, we have someone asking, are your products compatible with other brands? Okay, um, so for this one, um, Planet LoRa Gateway and LoRa No Controller meet the standard of the LoRa protocol. So uh, that means if any brand's devices meet the standard protocol, 
it's compatible with our solution. And um, we are also able to work with our customers to make sure our product meet the requirements for their network solution. Okay, uh, for the, first, uh, the second question here, um, does your product include a LoRaWAN server? Okay, so for this one, uh, yes, we have a plan to include LoRaWAN server in the future. Um, it will include all the functions required to run the private LoRaWAN network. Um, Planet LoRaWAN server will serve as a hub, connect to the LoRa gateway and the NMS central controller to manage and monitor remote devices or nodes. Okay, let's take a look at um, some of the other ones here. Um, the third one here, we have uh, someone asking, does your product offer, in addition to MQTT communication, uh, Mobus TCP or the uh, OPC UA server? Okay, so for, for this one, yes, um, the LoRa node controller device support um, Mobus RS-232 and uh, 485, and we have a plan to integrate Mobus TCP and OPC UA servers in the near future. And as we always listen to our customers' demands, if um, there are other types of communication protocols or even uh, new technology trends, we will be able to integrate them and discuss with our customers. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, here we have someone asking, um, can multiple LoRa AIoT networks be managed with this solution? Um, for example, the headquarter manage uh, multiple branch office networks. Okay, so uh, for this one, the answer is also yes. Um, Planet Server uh, can manage multiple LoRa NMS agents, meaning that each of these agents can be linked to multiple sites. Um, so a LoRa NMS can monitor and manage 10 sites uh, also as a, so that's a 10 LoRa gateways with each site connected to 300 nodes. So making a total of 3000 nodes can be monitored and mon managed. And if necessary, posts are sent from the server to the agent while the uh, traps are sent from the agent to the server if anything happens. Okay, so our next question, we have someone asking, uh, can the LoRa AIoT solution from Planet be integrated with management servers, such as Amazon Web Services or the uh, Microsoft uh, Azure? Okay, um, that's a very good question, and I'm sure everyone wants to know about this. And the answer is also yes, it's certainly an option to uh, use the third-party cloud servers. So if the customer already has an account with the AWS or the uh, Azure with the LoRa AIoT services, Planet LCG series can transmit the data to the server. So similar to uh, compatibility with the products from other brands, we will work with our customer to uh, make sure our products is compatible with the servers as the, uh, such as the AWS. And um, however, do keep in mind that there uh, uh, it may be costs to keep the raw data in the servers for IoT applications. Okay, uh, we still have some time, so let's see if we can go over a couple more questions here. Uh, next one, let's take a look at uh, this one. Are there limitations to the type of LoRa frequency um, planets LoRaWAN gateway can use? Okay. Uh, so for this one, we've already mentioned it a couple of times uh, in the webinar. Um, for our uh, LCG series, support many frequency bands around the world, such as the uh, EU uh, A6EA for Europe, AU915 for Australia, US915 for America, and AS923 for Asia. Okay, let's uh, quickly run uh, a last question. This one we received it uh, earlier from our customer. Are there any limitation on the LoRa technology and LoRa equipment? Okay, so for, um, for this one, the quick answer will be that there's no limitation to the LoRa technology and equipment um, because LoRa wireless signal is not the same as the Wi-Fi or the 5G. 
it's not used for uh, fi uh, the fast or high speed transmission. The primary function is to transmit low bandwidth and um, power devices over long ranges. Okay, so um, that's about time for our uh, webinar. So um, uh, thank you for tuning in today. And um, if you still have questions, we will leave, um, we will leave the chat room open for uh, a little longer. And uh, please leave them to the chat room or you can send it to uh, sales at planet.com.tw and we will have someone to answer your questions after the webinar. And also a reminder to uh, remind everyone to subscribe Planet YouTube channel to see our latest news and innovations or to visit our website at www.planet.com.tw. So thank you again for joining us today and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.